Alright, this is the third video in the RhinoCam tutorials. Um, the next step here is to create our machining operation, so we'll click this third tab. Uh, instead of working left to right this time, my personal preference is to dive straight up uh, to the top and choose our methods of uh, machining here. Um, before we do that, um, the only object again in this scene is just this uh, poly surface here. Uh, if I was to have curves or if I was to draw a square bounding box here, um, I could select that as a region in which to constrain machining operations. As you'll see here in uh, the regions, I have this as a selected region. Um, I want to mill out the whole thing, so I'm going to delete that region, and as you'll see, it now uh, the machining operations apply to uh, whatever uh, is necessary to cut this out of the stock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a machining operation. As you can see we have uh, 2.5D, 3D, and then 4-axis milling here. These are the RhinoCam Pro uh, machining operations. I believe there's three versions of the program, this having the most functions here. Uh, we're going to choose a 3x uh, milling method like I said. Uh, and we'll go ahead and choose uh, spiral machining here. That's one of my favorite ones. So you simply click that, and uh, I guess it throws a flag here that you do need a bounding box. So we'll just go ahead and create a bounding box, however big. It won't mill outside the uh, stock. So we'll simply click that as our active region. We'll go ahead and click spiral machining. All right. Uh, with each machining operation it gives you varying options here with nice diagrams uh, pointing out what these crazy words mean here uh, so it makes it a lot easier to set um, we're gonna go ahead and use a climb mill uh, starting from the inside step over since this is uh, roughing here why don't we just make this 40 percent um, and then again it gives you more options here in the second tab, all with uh, great pictures for de uh, defining what each of these uh, words means. Uh, what we'll do is we'll simply generate this for now. As you'll see now we have this tree over here. Uh, looks a lot like, in my experience, the Mastercam program. Um, plays everything out real nice for you and we can go into each one of these under the tree and edit them specifically. Um, our stock has already been set. You can see we're using the flat uh, mill. I believe if I click on this and then I go over to the ball mill section, I can then choose the ball mill. Uh, as you can see, it now switched to the ball mill, but it also turned our folder red. When our folder is red, it means something has been changed since the last time we generated the tool pass and we need to regenerate them. Um, so to do that, we right click on that and we simply generate it again. Um, feeds and speeds, uh, again with the picture on the side here, defining what each of these uh, parameters means. Um, we'll go ahead and leave them at default uh, for time's sake here. Uh, clearance plane, as you'll notice again, all these icons are located up here at the top, but they also put them down in the tree for you. So we'll go ahead and click the clearance plane down here. We'll make it off of our stock, and it's a quarter inch off the top of our stock now. We'll click OK. Our regions are OK. Uh, parameters brings you back into the milling method uh, window here, which is OK. And we will regenerate this once again. Uh, a couple of things up at the top here. If we wanted to see how long this job was to take, we simply click the Operations Info button. Uh, and as you can see, it shows us a little bit about the information or the uh, milling method, but then it tells you the machining time. Um, here also gives you whole machining operations. Uh, so you not only have the two and a half, three, and four axis, but you also have the whole machining operations here. And then in our window, you can see um, that it applied. Uh, tool pass directly to our model. In the next video we get to, uh, I'll show you what those lines mean, how to remove them, how to show them, how to animate the machine, uh, machining operation, and then how to post the code as well.